Welcome back to the 2018 Maxis TKM Festival. It's Oplate time. Who'd have thought Reggie Dewey would be on pole position for the Junior TKM Oplate final in his first ever appearance in Junior TKM? Alongside Abby pulling on the front row from Wigley and Richardson, Dan Butterworth and Morgan Kidd, the latest Junior TKM female whirlwind. Plenty of talent in the field chasing them down. Zach Oates from the back is sure to be a hard charger. Away we go. And Reggie Dewey is hanging on to that inside line in front of Abby pulling as they go through this first corner. What an amazing weekend Reggie Dewey is having. Fresh out of Junior X30, don't forget, in the British Super 1 series. And now battling with Abby pulling who's going for broke straight away. Abby pulling takes the lead off Dewey. And now it is going to be the veteran at this sport now in Junior TKM level, the reigning champion, Abby Pulling, against the young pretender to her crown, Reggie Dewey. They're in second position, battling away in the early stages as they knit their way through on this epic first lap. Reggie Dewey usually flies his train in Junior X30. He's in Junior TKM for the first time this weekend. Will it be the last time? If he has a really good weekend, he's already had a really good weekend this weekend anyway, but uh, if he comes out on top here and wins the British Open Championship and has that Oplet on his car for the next year, you may see him, in, see him in the British Championships in this class next year, and great move for third. Yeah, that's Richardson. Richardson's made the move on Wigley. Good bit of driving there, again to get the move into Derricks as they go through Dan Weldon and Reggie Dewey. I have a feeling this weekend may just be enough to make him switch disciplines. We've seen it in the past. This kid goes up the inside of Wigley. Oh, goodness me! Wigley very nearly had a tyre sandwich then to eat as he came off the turn. No room at all for negotiation there for Morgan Kidd. Pushing Big Star. Her confidence is absolutely sky high these days as Butterworth gets up the inside now as well. But how close was Aston Wigley to a face full of tyres? Yeah, Morgan Kidd had a fantastic British Championships at Shennington. She never came where she wanted to come in that race. But at one point during the race, Abby Pulling was leading. Morgan Kidd was second. We had two girls out front for the first time ever in the British Championships. Unfortunately, Morgan had a problem with the car, ended up down, I think it was in fifth place, Jake. But what a great run she had. And this is just an example of that sort of run and the sort of confidence it can give you. We've now got somebody in this class, another girl, who could also challenge for wins at the national British Championship level. Well, since that moment from Morgan Kidd getting past Wigley, Wigley's tumbled down the order. Butterworth's got through, Kearney's got through, the 80 of Joel Oswick's got through, Taylor, Stevenson, Strong, the number four's got through as well of Kurt Roberts. He's just tumbled down the field behind Zach Coates now to 13th. And, and I tell you what, you talk about quality in this field, you've just named about eight, eight yeah, teams absolutely. there who could win this race, who've got the sort of quality to win races at this sort of standard, no doubt about it. You've just named them all, Jake. Well, Richardson's in third position, dropping back, but Reggie Dewey's doing exactly the sensible thing. He's, do you know what? This is the thing. Reggie Dewey, we have picked him out for the last two or three years as one of the top young talents coming through in British karting, but he's never really had that luck streak go his way. He's always been jostled and battered about by other drivers, and it's usually, yeah. if he's in a battle, he's up the inside, having set the fastest lap and takes the lead. I was going to say he's usually the driver in a fisty cuff match between six or seven drivers he's usually the one who gets spat out to the scenery he's not going to get spat out anywhere this time yeah he doesn't mind putting it about a bit though Reg, does he <laughs> you know well he, he's he, no stranger he, to the elbow I mean, let's put it that I mean, way he, 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 Oh, that's another change for the leader. And that's pulling back. That's the fourth different leader. It's You're making a note of it. It's between these two. That's four changes Viewers, for the lead so far. You can't see this. He's actually making a note of how many lead changes there are on the yes. paper in front of me, just in case it gets more than we had for the elite final five years ago. Reggie Dewey is back. Well, that's the fifth one. So keep a note on that. We've already had five lead changes then, and this is lap six. So Reggie this. Dewey back in front. Look at Richardson getting closer in third, Jake. Oliver Richardson 
another another driver who's absolute top quality no doubt about it and he's going to make it a three-way battle if he can and he's getting closer to the two in front as they battle that makes his job easier and then we've got morgan kidd in front of dan butterworth and connor kearney they're getting close as well this could end up as a six-way scrap as up the inside for eighth that is zach oates getting on the inside of joel oswick so oates is up into eighth place another great charge from the back of the grid we saw that in the earlier junior tkm final from zach oates fought his way to the podium what if he does it again in the O plate that you know, would be a great fight back you know after waiting for so long to get a girl to come right at the top level that's another overtake from that's Abby Pulling getting Number into the six. lead again we've got two of them Morgan yeah. Kidd I, I can well see Morgan Kidd over the next year winning races at the British Championship level herself because that run she had at Shennington just seems to have given her the confidence and she is in front here of some real real quality drivers the man right behind her Butterworth, Dan Butterworth is one of them Yep, Connor Kearney's one. Spencer Stevenson is Abby Pudding's teammate. He's one of them. Yeah, Zach, Zach Oates, Oates is, is back there. there. Taylor is back there. Wigley's back there. Oswick. Ellingham is back there. Lucas Ellingham, the 99. Paige Roberts. It's brilliant to see her on merit pushing forward. She hasn't been gift wrapped in this position at all. All weekend, she's fought for it tooth and nail. And she is going to be, for my money, as good as Abby Pudding was a year ago. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch her development as her confidence has grown over the, literally the last sort of well, six weeks or so. If Abby Pulling wins the title this year, there's every chance that she could pass the baton over to you Morgan Kidd I'm next not, year. I'm not sure how old Morgan is when she's going to be in juniors next year. I can confirm oh, look, that's, that's, that's Reggie Dewey's mum, B. <laughs> nice to know cigarettes haven't gone out of uh, fashion there, B. Well, she's keeping an eye on the timing. She can't watch. <laughs> this is how impressive Reggie Dewey is being on his junior TKM debut. He's battling with not just any driver in junior TKM, the reigning British champion. Absolutely. That's not bad going, is and it? This will be, by the way, guys, Abby Pulling's last season in juniors. She is moving on next year. So those of you who think you're coming into junior TKM, she's not going to go for a third season in a row. She could. She could. She's still young enough to do it. But I understand from her dad, Andy, that they are going to move on next year to another class. Not sure what that will be. Well, but it'll be interesting to see. Well, if you ask... open things up. <laughs> uh, you're just saying about Morgan Kidd there, Jake. Yeah as she goes under the drone there in fourth place. I'm not sure how old Morgan is, whether she'll still be in juniors next year, but she'll certainly challenge. And I'll tell you what, if Reggie wins this, don't rule out Reggie Dewey in junior TKM next year going for the British Championship title. Well, he could finish the Super 1 season in junior TKM. He There's could. no reason he, he couldn't could. stay with the Class and Motorsport team and finish the yeah, year off. He can't off. win in junior X30 now. He's had a few issues this year. So he may as well use the last couple of rounds of this year's championship as a test bed yeah, for the 2019 campaign, especially if he can pass Abby Pulling. That's going to be a hard ask, though. We know how ice cool Abby Pulling is when she's at the front of the field. But Reggie Dewey has really stepped up his game this weekend to come in at Junior TKM for the first time in his career to be at the Indy 500 of British Carding, the TKM Festival. It really is an impressive ask for anybody to run with the British champion in their first ever weekend with a new team on a new cart to him. No experience of racing uh, at this level in this particular class with this circuit because, of course, he won't have done a lot of laps at Kim Bolton, I don't think, because well, I'm not sure. he I hasn't done a lot. I think he may have done a few laps around here over well, maybe the course maybe of the, his career. Maybe club know. level, of course, I suppose, if he's done a few of the club rounds, but certainly never going wheel to wheel with Abby Pulling. He will never have done that before this weekend in serious competition. Another move that back down there for around uh, 10th or 11th place. Is that place. Kid going for third as well? Kid is starting to make inroads into Richardson as up the inside. Butterworth tries to get past Kid. That door's not opening. And there's Zach Oates. Here comes Zach Oates. Again. Oates is fifth now. There's another one where he started well <laughs> down the field out of position and he's making a comeback. Look at this battle out front. Well, but these two just well clear of this battle. But if they start battling themselves, that could bring the group in behind. But I think the group in behind is so close. I think they're going to effectively slow themselves down but Morgan Kidd there in fourth place she definitely wants a podium this weekend minimum minimum well, and to be honest oh Kidd is going to lose oh, the position oh that's over the inside that, that was Oates that's Oates Oates dives for the inside of Richardson drifts out wide Morgan Kidd nearly got through into third position and here goes Reggie Dewey he makes the move on Abby Pulling and that's the sixth lead change seventh the seventh lead change sorry you're keeping count let's watch this. this move from fifth, Oates fifth to third Banzai up the inside move. of Richardson Move of the weekend. 
move, one of the moves of the season. Brilliant move. Yeah, that's a tough one to pull off at Kim Bolton. Other drivers might have chucked that into the chicken house, but that was a beautiful move into third position. And Morgan Kidd went with him. So now they're dueling over third position. Stevenson's managed to get past Butterworth in all of that as well. Up into sixth position. Butterworth seventh from Kearney, Wigley and Oswick. Taylor in 11th place in front of Lucas Ellingham as the leaders come through. And Reggie Dewey leads the way with two and a half on the clock plus the additional lap. And Abby Pulling is a slightly unfamiliar territory here because she's in second place, leading the British Championship, has already won the earlier elite final here in the TK Festival, has never dueled with Reggie Dewey. So other than what she'll have seen trackside at events or on YouTube, she doesn't really know what to make of Reggie Dewey until she races him. I think, I think I remember Graham Butterworth saying that was history she made winning these uh, junior elite final because she won it of course last year and I, I'm not sure it's ever been done before. Oh Abby pulling on the inside again. that's the move, that's number 8 for the overtakes for the lead then. Now here's an interesting question, pulling back through to the lead, look at Morgan Kidd, she is hustling Zach Oates. We know that there's been a woman who's won as Dewey gets the lead back again, that's the ninth lead change. Now Dewey back into the lead and Abby pulling second. Never Has been... there ever been two women on a podium no, at the no, TKM Festival? Never. They're absolutely, that would be an absolute first, no doubt about well, it. Well, Abby pulling all over the back of Reggie Dewey, Morgan Kidd all over the back of Zach Oates, and that was Richardson drew, uh, drifting back past Stevenson with Butterworth and Wigley in there. I don't want to go on about Morgan Kidd, but uh, I will say this. I believe she is the most improved driver in the last sort of, certainly the last six weeks, probably this season. Well, absolutely. I mean, she's swarming all over the back of Zach Oates and yeah, going exactly. for the move. Look at yeah. pulling there out of the final hairpin. She was trying to get Dewey on the undercut. Dewey was wise to the mover, but he's doing an awful lot of looking behind him. Goodness me, three Abby three Pulling. To go, Jake, I think. Here she goes on the undercut through Snow Corner, and that's another move for the lead. That's high 10. That is a brilliant move from Abby Pulling. The 10th lead change in this one race. Diving for that inside chicane once again. Dewey trying to get on the undercut out of Derrick's. Dives for the inside line again. They're running short on time, and it's going to be an incredible victory, whoever gets this between the two of them. But as they keep swapping, look, Oates and Kidd are swarming. Pulling was moving out, and... Reggie Dewey was basically shaking his fist going, they're catching us, they're catching us. Stop it, let's get on with it. But there's 30 seconds on the clock. This is going to be the victory dance. Here you know we go. What, how good is the drone? That shot there just tells you how, Here how goes close Dewey, this is getting. Running wide around the outside of Stone to try and get the switch back. That's what Abby Pulling did to him a lap ago. Oh, up in the air and he's through. Goodness me. That was unbelievable from Reggie Dewey. And Abbott Pullings down to third. Make that fourth as Morgan Kidd goes through. Let's look again. Now, which of them was at fault or was that just a racing incident? We've died for the I, inside. Dewey's up the inside. I Pulling's going to come across. I've got an opinion on this. That's fine. That's where the contact occurs. Now, last year, oh. Abby Pulling at Shellington was involved in a very similar incident to that. She said on that occasion, she was the one oh, up the inside. Oh, pulling dice for Kidd. She's trying to go for it. Not going to happen. Guy. Not going to happen. Is Morgan Kidd going to be on the podium? Not Abby I think pulling. she is, but Zach Oates is now going for Reggie Dewey. Round the outside, Dewey hangs on, and Kidd is through in a third. I'm just going to go back and say what I was going to say. Didn't be just complete. Abby Pullin was involved in an incident at Shellington. She went up the inside. She got excluded from that race for making the move. And she said, well, he turned in on me. Well, if Abby thought that, I'm going to call that what I think it was. Reggie was far enough up the inside that she yep. possibly should have seen him. And well, she Dewey... squeezed him and there was contact. I so agree. I think there's no damage done there. But Dewey's going to hang on for the win here. This could be and the most amazing debut in Junior TKM in living history. Reggie Dewey's going to do it. Reggie tarts. Dewey wins the O-play on his Junior TKM debut. That is an amazing result. Zach Oates has his head in his hands, but second place is a valiant fight back. Morgan Kidd is third. That is amazing. Richardson, Stevenson, Butterworth, Pulling Falls to seventh. Wigley is eighth from Oswick and Kearney. We have a new hero in junior TKM, and he'll carry the oak plate for 12 months. Bit of a change around in the order in the last lap or two. <laughs> yeah, um... We just saw Reggie and Abby come together and Zach went, went for the little gap that was there and so I've just followed him through. So, great result for you. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Enjoyable race? Yeah, very much so. Okay, well done to you. We had a little chat just now about uh, your result in the uh, 
festival race when you came through from the back of the grid. Yep. Uh, this time you came literally from the back of the grid again <laughs> to uh, end up on the podium in second place this time. I bet you never dreamt of that one. Oh no, I was just hoping to go and get at least top five, just go as quickly through as possible. But then near the end, I was in third and romping down the two leaders. And it was just getting more real and real. And then uh, obviously ready to defend it well and took second. Yeah, I think your overtake down the inside into Kimball oh. was, was my overtake of the weekend. Oh, it was a great move. I was just going for one, but then I thought, got to go for the leaders, put four down, did both of them, and I was well happy. Well done. So as a result of that, you also got something else today, uh, because each year we present the Bernie Tony Award, Memorial Award for a very special drive over the weekend. Last year, Abby Pulling won it for winning uh, Everything Going. And uh, today we're giving it to you for two great drives through from the back of the grid for not uh, from you know for faults that came about not from your fault. So uh, oh, very cheers. very good drive. So so Reggie, yeah. not to take anything away from you, obviously with that yeah. presentation. Uh, I mean you've had a great scrap all weekend with them, yeah, and yeah. Uh, obviously yourself and uh, Abby had a, a real scrap there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just all kind of uh, <coughs> kicked off a bit in yeah. uh, in the, the willows there. Yeah, uh, we come down into the uh, first corner. Yeah. Uh, Abby's gone to the inside, really defensive uh, from the lap before, uh, where I made the mistake. So then I learned from that. Got the car back and then we both touched wheels, uh, come on, off on top. And then, yeah, I've just defended from Zach the rest of the race. Right, right. So, so uh, a bit of a one-off for you doing this this weekend? Uh, maybe. I can't really say any more. So you might do some more? Maybe. Maybe he could win the championship next year in this current form. TKM Extreme O-Plate is up next. Can we finish on a massive high?